In today's video, I'm going to go through a lot of the basic things that you need to know if you're a beginner that's looking to make money online with affiliate marketing moving into 2023 and beyond. The same strategies that I'm going to talk about in this video allow me to make over $15,000 every single month from all of my different affiliate marketing businesses. But as you can see from this one affiliate marketing network that I use, I've been able to make almost £3,600, which is around $4,000 by using the exact same tactics that I'm going to go through in today's video. So I definitely know a thing or two that's going to help you guys out. So if you enjoy any part of this video at any point don't forget to press the like button i really appreciate that thank you so much don't forget to subscribe as well hit the bell notification let's get right into the video all right so jumping straight into one of the first things that you need to make sure that you're aware of if you're looking to make money with affiliate marketing which is that you need to understand exactly how affiliate marketing works and i know right now you're probably thinking sam i already know what it is it's where i'm going to promote another company's product or service and whenever i'm able to successfully get someone to buy that product or service i'm going to make a commission and you're definitely right if that's what you think but there's a little bit more that goes into affiliate marketing that a lot of beginners tend to overlook. For example, the pros and cons between promoting a digital product or physical product, or even things like promoting an offer where you're going to be able to generate a recurring income for as long as that person uses that product or service, or even things as small as the pros and cons of even starting an affiliate marketing business to begin with. There's so much that goes into starting an affiliate marketing business, and you just need to make sure that you educate yourself on all of these small details so that you're going to be able to do things effectively. All right, so jumping straight into one of the most important things that you need to make sure that you have in the forefront of your mind when you first decide to start an affiliate marketing business, which is who exactly is your target audience? The mistake a lot of beginners make when they first start trying to make money with affiliate marketing is that they don't realize that they need to make sure that they're speaking to a specific person. Because the more you try and generalize and the more you try and speak to everybody, the less effect you're going to have when it comes to making affiliate commissions. This is something that I've learned anyway over my years of being able to make a decent amount of money from affiliate marketing. If you're able to focus your efforts into targeting a specific person, you're also going to be able to understand that person's pain points. And you're also going to be able to understand which products or services that person needs for them to improve their life in one way or another. So to give an example of what I'm talking about, here's one of the recent websites that I set up, which is successwithbusiness.com. And this website was first and foremost started to help people that are looking to achieve success with their online business. And because I was aware of that when I first built this website, I was able to focus all of my efforts when it comes to all of the different articles that I'm writing on this website to help that specific person. So when it comes to all of the different content that me and my team are producing for this website, we're going to be able to do a much better job because we know exactly who we're speaking to. And because I know exactly who I'm speaking to and who I'm targeting, I'm going to also know exactly what type of products or services that person may want to buy. Okay, so moving on to one of the next things that I wish I knew in the early days when I first started my affiliate marketing business over six years ago, because it would have sped up the whole process when it came to me making my first $1,000 in profit, which is that you want to make sure that you've got expert knowledge with whatever you're talking about. And you also want to make sure that you're going after a high paying category as well. If you're able to pair these two together when it comes to doing affiliate marketing, that's the point where you're now going to be able to make money. One common thing that I see so many beginners try and do when they want to make money with affiliate marketing is that they will talk about a topic that they don't necessarily have any knowledge in. And the reason why this might be problematic is because when it now comes to you producing content or even trying to go after your target audience, you're not going to really know exactly how to communicate to them and you're not going to be able to answer their questions in the best way possible. With majority of the different affiliate marketing websites that I've got running at the moment, I'm somewhat of an expert in the topics that I'm talking about. So just to give you another example, if we go back over to my website, as you can see, all of these different articles, things like Shopify dropshipping for beginners, how to make money online, selling on Amazon FBA or Amazon FBM, all of these different topics of things that I've personally done myself. So when it comes to me being able to explain things in the best possible way, because I'm talking from experience, the people that are reading my articles or coming across my content are going to know that they're listening to someone that's actually done it. And if you're able to combine your expert knowledge with a high paying category, that's the point where you're now going to be able to make a lot of money. And this is something that I didn't necessarily know when I first started making money with affiliate marketing. I didn't realize that some categories paid more than others. I just got lucky with the fact that the websites that I'm currently running are within high paying categories. So for example, things like make money online, finance, investing, cryptocurrency, social media, tech, all of these different categories pay a lot more than others. For example, cooking, maybe things like DIY. There's other categories that don't necessarily pay a lot. So if you're someone that's currently at the start of your affiliate marketing journey, and you also have expert knowledge in multiple different fields, you may want to spend some time to do some research to figure out which one of those categories pay the most so that you can potentially maximize the amount of profit that you can make from your affiliate marketing business. Okay, so moving on to one of the next things that I always advise a lot of beginners to make sure that they're thinking about when they first decide to make money with affiliate marketing, which is that they 
need to make sure that they're signing up to a credible affiliate marketing network. And the reason why I say this is because over my many years of doing affiliate marketing, going directly to some of the companies that have their own affiliate marketing program, sometimes they don't track all of the clicks accurately, which means that you're going to be losing money over the long term. However, if you go directly to an affiliate marketing network, number one, you're going to kind of guarantee that they're tracking all of the links, which means that you're going to be able to make all the money that you should rightfully make. And number two, you're going to have so many different options when it comes to all of the different companies that you can promote. And just for the record, I'm not saying that every single company that has their own affiliate program isn't tracking the links accurately, because of course, there's a lot of companies that I've worked with that have given me exactly what they should have given me. But at the same time, there's a lot of companies that have lied and said that this person didn't sign up or that person didn't sign up just for me to find out that that person did sign up. So you need to make sure that you're thinking about this as you move forward in your own affiliate marketing journey. And there's so many different networks that you can use out there. So for example, one of the ones that I'm using at the moment is Impact. And the reason why I like them is because all of the different blogs and websites and affiliate marketing businesses that I'm using at the moment, I'm going to be able to find a suitable affiliate marketing program because they've got so many different categories, as you can see right here. Another affiliate marketing network that I like to use is Partnerstack. And this one is more focused on business programs and softwares. So for example, if I click on this option over here, I'm going to be able to see all of these different categories. For example, products and services in social media, sales, marketing, accounting, productivity, etc, etc. And once you have signed up to whatever network that you want to, you're now going to be able to scroll through and find all of these different offers that may be suitable for your audience. But it is important for me to add that wherever you're going to promote, you need to make sure that you trust that company product or service. For me personally, what I like to do is make sure that me and my team actually use whatever we're going to promote for a certain period of time, just to make sure that it works effectively and just to make sure that someone's actually going to get value out of that product. The mistake a lot of beginners tend to make is that they'll just scroll through this list, see a company, for example, this one over here, where they're gonna be able to earn up to $25,000. And because they're gonna be able to earn so much, they will just promote this without even really reading what this product or service does. But that's one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of beginners tend to make. You need to remember that the number one rule to start in an affiliate marketing business is to make sure that you're building up a trusted organic relationship with your audience. Because from the moment that you start promoting something that you don't even believe in, that's the quickest way to lose trust with the people that trust you and the quickest way to kill off your affiliate marketing business. All right, so moving on to the final thing that I'm going to leave you guys with, which is that you need to make sure that you've got a long-term mindset. So if there's one thing that I've learned over the years of me building various different affiliate marketing businesses is that you need to make sure that you don't try and make money from day one. It's going to take time for you to build up an audience or build up a stream of traffic that actually care about what you have to say and care about your opinion when it comes to whatever products or services that you're going to promote. It's not something that's necessarily going to happen overnight. It may take three months, five months for you to build up that traction. But the longer your mindset is and the more value that you provide up front, the more you're going to be able to have this business over the next three, four, five years. I've got a couple of different websites that I've been running now for the past couple of years and they're still able to generate me an affiliate marketing commission till now. But that's because I made sure to front load the amount of value that I was providing to the people that was coming across the website and not necessarily focusing on trying to make as much affiliate marketing commissions from the first week. Again, this is another mistake that a lot of beginners tend to make, which is that they start affiliate marketing and because they don't really want to put the necessary work in for them to grow their business to the point where they're going to be able to build up a lot of traffic, they tend to give up because they want things to happen overnight. But if you remember to have a long term mindset and you also remember to have consistency, be patient before you know it, you're going to be able to live the life of your dreams. Now, of course, there's so much more that goes into starting an affiliate marketing business. I just wanted to give you guys the basics just so that you have the right mindset moving into 2023 and beyond. But if you want to sign up to a completely free email newsletter where twice a week, I'm going to personally send you out an email to help you when it comes to making money online. You can sign up for that newsletter by clicking the first link in the description down below. Or if you ever watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago where I broke down the five steps that you need to know if you want to make money with a website moving into 2023 that I didn't really talk about in today's video, then you can click the link right there. Check that video out straight after this one because it's already helped out so many people and I'm sure that it's going to help you out too. All right guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.